two second Timothy. Second Timothy. The second chapter. Starting at verse 19 through 26. Second Timothy, the second chapter, verse 19 through 26. Second Timothy, the 19th verse through the 20th. Six verse. When you have it, say amen. amen. Second Timothy, the 19th verse through the 26th verse. Second Timothy, the second chapter, the 19th verse through the 26th verse. And it reads, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord know them that are his, and that everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good one. Flee are also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do tend to strife. And the servant of the Lord was not strife, but be gentle. Unto all men, oh God. apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if God prevention will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him and his will. You may take your seat. We're going to speak to you for a few moments this morning on a subject called the warfare of a Christian soldier. The warfare of a Christian soldier. This particular letter is written by one by the name of Paul, who was once a soldier in the army against God. But he met Jesus on Damascus Road, and now we see that he is in prison, but he's writing a letter to Timothy, one of his young protégés, who is now a pastor of a church. You see, even though we be bound sometime, but yet the Word of God is not bound. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So he was writing this letter to show uh, Timothy, don't worry about me. Don't worry about what's going on with me. That's right. mm -hmm. You just go and do what the Lord wants you to do. Because Father, I, sister, sister and brother, I come back to tell you, that the devil is busy, even the best of Christians. 
Lord. can get caught up Amen. in the things of this world. Yes. And we need to have that strength to carry on in God's word. We see here, if you look at um, if you look at oh no, if you look at Philippians one, you see what Paul said in Philippians one uh, about the first verse. See Paul was saying. In Philippians 1, Paul and Timothy, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are in Philippi, with the bishop and deacons, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank God upon every member of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy. We have to learn how to pray and how to intercede yes. for others. So actually all Paul is doing here in this letter to Timothy is interceding him, strengthening him in the will of the Lord because the warfare of the devil is against us. We have to remember in Ephesians 6 and 10 it says we Fight not against uh, flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and places and things in power and high places. We have to be filled with what? The Holy Ghost. In other words, put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. What is the whole armor of God? Well, let's go back to what Paul called it. He said in verse 10, find my brother. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not, listen to this, wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, against the rulers and the darkness of the world. What is that? The people that that causes you to become a goddess truck. Hello? They are not against you. It's that spirit that's what? It, that's working against you. Trying to get you to change your mind. Trying to get you to turn away from doing what God wants you to do. So you have to put on the whole armor so you will know when it's of the devil are uh, of yourself. Hello? I know it's of yourself. He said, and now it says, um, hold on of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your learnings girded with, <laughs> learning about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. When you have on the blessed place of righteousness, what people say against you don't affect you. Because you know who it is that has you covered. You know, and when you have on the blessed place, what people try to get you to do against God will not affect you. And he says, and you are and uh, the breastplate uh, uh, of righteousness, and your feet sure with the word, preparation of the gospel of peace. You know what that means? That means you are willing to go and do whatever God wants you to do. And you know, I tell you all the time, don't pray to God to have you do something if you're not willing to move your feet. Amen? Amen. 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 Now, and above all, taking the shield of faith. Your faith covers anything that comes towards you. We talked about the pattern of patience this morning. The patience of Sarah and Abraham, even though Sarah laughed. But guess what? She still was thankful in the end because of what God had done for them. Amen? Amen. We have to be thankful and be patient and wait on in 
faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all fiery gods of the wicked. You know, when you have patience and wait on God, <laughs> you will get the experience and know that there's nobody but God. But we have to understand this for ourselves. And then you take on what? The helmet of salvation. What is the helmet? You know for yourself. The helmet. You know it for yourself. There is nobody but who? But God. And the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. You know that God promised yet stand. Amen? Amen. Amen. Back to, to uh, 2 Timothy. We see that he was writing this to Timothy in the vein of the very first one, verse of 2 Timothy. He said, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. What do you mean by be strong in grace? means understand and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's an un undeserved favor when you have grace with God. Because we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But by His grace we receive the goodness of who? Of God. Of God. Just as we are saved by grace we should live by grace also. This means trusting God. Standing on His word and doing what he wants you to do. And, and, uh, and the thing that has heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. The things that God is sharing with me, I am sharing it with you so that you can share who? With others. Don't take this word today just for yourself and don't utilize it to, for the edifying of God's word. Once you get it, you are to spread it. That's why I said have on the shoes. You ought to be able to go out and tell everybody about what you heard today, about the goodness of Jesus Christ, the, about the goodness, the testimonies that has been spoken of in here this morning. You shouldn't be ashamed to tell anybody about the goodness of God. All right. And he said, now therefore, now therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier in Jesus Christ. I know what he's talking about being a soldier. Because a soldier, you put on a uniform to go to battle. Mm -hmm. Hello? Right. And the battle is not flesh and blood, but you got to have on the helmet. Mm -hmm. You got to have the breastplate. You got to have the shield. You got to have the right shoes, and you got to have the right weapon, which is the sword of the spirit, of the word of God. You got to be able to know this for yourself. Right. And he said, "No man that wars entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has shown him to be a soldier." You know who enlisted you in this army. So why are you worried about what somebody else is saying All about right. you? Right. You better say it. Why are you worried about when somebody come and tell you why you don't have to go to church every day? Mm -hmm. yep, Lord. But you know who has enlisted you. Jesus. So your job is to please the one that has enlisted you to be in this army. And if you don't know who it is, his name is Jesus Christ. You remember Paul said in Romans 8, 28, all things work together to the good of those that love God, who are called according to His purpose. Not for your purpose, but for His purpose. And then he goes on to say, and if a man also strive for mastery, yet he, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. You won't receive your crown if you don't do it God's way. That's why. You get it? You got to do it the way God wants you to do it. Not the way you want to do it. Not the way some man or woman wants you to do it. But you have to do it God's way. So what that tells you? That God has to be first in your life. But you know, we as Christians, we're in warfare. 
Because if I was to ask you uh, to, to, to name what is first in your life, a lot of us would say money. A lot of us would say my wife. A lot of us would say my what children. But I come by to tell you the first thing in your life should be Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus is the answer to all of our problems. And if a man strives, and he must strive, what? Lawfully according to the word of God. The husband man that labor must be first partaker of the fruits. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to receive the first fruits of your work. Labor. You know, you're going to receive the first fruit of your life. Does that mean you're going to get a whole lot of money? No, you're going to get pleasure in your heart. <coughs> God is going to give you that peace that you need Lady. to walk through anything that is going on I in your know. life. See, blessings don't just come in money and in stuff. That's right. Blessings also come in, in life, life life. Jesus. You saw how he has he uh, blessed Hezekiah <laughs> with 15 more years. Thank you, Lord. Why? Because he did what? The will of God. And when he called up on him, God answered him right. and gave him 15 more years on his life. Right. And then, then this goes on saying, Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in what? All things. The Bible says, He that likes wisdom, ask God. God. That's right. See, when you ask God, instead of going and asking your bathroom lawyers and all your friends and That's your friends, right. you will get the true answer. God will set you free. By following Amen. what he tells you to do. Amen. Not what the world wants you to do. That. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to this gospel. If you believe that, look at the next verse where Paul said, And when I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bond, but the word of God has what? No bound. See, they're going to try, the world is going to try to bound you up right. and tell you you don't have to do this. That's right. You don't have to do that. But if the word of God said pray, you need to what? Pray. pray. Right. If the yeah. word of God said you need to turn to the right, you need to what? Turn yeah. to the right. Say that. Walk in righteousness and not in the wrong ways of the world. Remember that Christ is the seed of David, mm. and he died on the cross for you. Yes, it says in John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It didn't say you wasn't going to go into anything. That's right. You see, right. that's why Jesus, when he came, when Nicodemus came to him by night, he said, Father, I know that you are a good teacher. Call him Rabbi, you are a good teacher. But I need to know more about you, in other words, what he said. He said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And then the guy said, how can a man be born again? Can he go back into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus said, except a man be born of the spirit and water, he shall not enter into the kingdom of God. This is a spiritual warfare, my sister. Amen. Amen. It is not about the, those people that are out here on drugs. Those people are in, the, in, in, a, in a situation where they need your help in the right what? Spirit. Hello? Those people that are out there on the corner, they need to see that right spirit what? In you. By showing them what? Love. It is a warfare, because we can easily look at people and say, I don't want nothing to do with them. Say that. But you say can't that. claim to be a Christian. You claim to be a Christian. Okay. But we are in a spiritual warfare. Yeah. So we cannot let our feelings or our thoughts interfere with the word of God. Because God has a plan, and he is the, the end of all of our salvation. If we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer with him, we shall also reign with him. 
When you go through something, when you go through trials and tribulations, the shame says you kind of what? All joy in divers of temptation. Why are you kind of all joy? When I pass the test. Say that. When somebody comes to you with drugs and you say no, you pass the test. Hello? Amen. You understand what I'm saying? This is what God wants us to do. He wants us to walk with him. We, we, we might not, we not, might not be like the world if we deny him. He also will deny what? Oh, us. We? If we believe that, yet he abided faithfully, he cannot deny what? Yes. Himself. Yes. Because God created us. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And he's going to keep knocking at your door yes. until you answer him, yes. until you open up and allow him to come into your life. Yes. Now look, look what Timothy, uh, Paul said to Timothy in the 14th verse. He said, all these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words of no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. You know, a lot of people, they get offended by little words that come up. Yep, Lord. You, can, you cannot worry about the little words. All that stuff is doing is hindering you from doing what God wants you to do. Amen. We got to be stronger. We got to be powerful in our faith and trust in the Lord. And now, because those words profit what? Nothing at all. Study to show thyself approved unto God. Study the word of God so you will know what to do what? Yourself. A workman that needs not be what? A shame. Rightly dividing the word of truth. When you are following the word of God, people will see you walking in the light. That's why Jesus tells us, except in Matthew 5, 20, except your righteousness, exceed that of the Pharisee, as the scribes and Pharisees, you shall not enter into the kingdom of God. See, the, Pharisees, the scribes are the ones who do the right. The Pharisees, uh, the church folks. A lot of church folks talking a good game, mm -hmm. but they ain't doing nothing to help their sister and brother. Yes. Hello? Right. Yeah. So you got you got to see that. You got to go far and beyond. If if, if if a man asks you to go a mile, you should be compelled to go what? Two miles. You got to go all out to help your sister and brother. But this the mm. The warfare of a Christian soldier. You got to have the power of Jesus Christ in order to, to walk the walk and to talk what? That's to talk. Right. It says, but shun profane and vain babbling. Don't get into all this mess that a lot of people want to talk about. Amen. You know, people would come up and say, well, uh, Adam and Eve beloved apple. That's not what the words say. It didn't say that. No, it didn't. You need to know what the words say for yourself. Brother, that was the fruit. That's it. We got to understand. What is the fruit? The fruit that he wants us to really get is the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. He wants us to get the fruit of the Spirit into what? Our life. So we won't get into this bickering and back and forth. You, you get into the fruit of the Spirit where you have, a, you have love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness. Faith and most of all what? Temperance. We have to learn to get the get into the spirit of the Lord for ourselves. And not into the profane and vain babbling that we will increase unto our ungodliness when we get into the stuff. You get to talking to people about worldly things, the next thing you know, you get caught up. But it's there for us to remember. Don't get hung up with these things. And it's in that. And, and their word will eat as though a canker. You know what a canker is? Oh, Lord. Wow. That boy eats in and everything. Mm -hmm. He will eat you up. That's, that, that's what it, it happens to us. But it's a warfare. And we have to be mindful of it at all times. And, um, and of whom uh, Jimenez and Philetus, who concern the truth, 
have error, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some. I don't know about you, but the resurrection has not been what? Past. So Jesus Christ is alive and well today. Amen? Amen. Amen. And now, the foundation of the God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are what? His. And that everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from what? Iniquity. You know, um, Matthew 16 and verse 19, I think, he told Peter, says, Who do you say that I am? Mm -hmm. And what did Peter say? You are what? You are the Son of God. And he said, Take to Peter, flesh and blood did not, did not reveal that to you. Up on this rock. This rock I will build what? My church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What is he talking about? He's talking about the faith in the Spirit of God. With hell what? Cannot prevail against it. By you having faith and believe in the what? In the Son of God. And then he goes on to say, The Lord knows them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but wood of wood and earth, and some to dishonor and some to honor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel of what? Unto honor. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about silver and gold. Okay. Don't worry about being the top. That's right. Don't worry about being the bottom. Just be who you are in what? In Christ. In Christ. And he will honor. You will be one that is honored by Christ. But you must purge yourself against these things. Okay? And it says, and the sacrifice and meat for the master's use. And prepare for what? Every good work. We are here to serve the Lord, not to serve ourselves. The warfare of a Christian soldier a lot of time is that we get hyped up. It got to be my way. All right. It got to be about if, what you do for me. All right. But it's not about that. It's not about how much money you will get. It's about doing the will of the Lord. If you think about it, if the Lord called your help from you today, how much money would you make tomorrow? You better say it. Mm -hmm. Hello? Lord. You see what I'm saying? See, he is in control. But the, the warfare of a Christian soldier is we got to be reminded not to fall into the trap of the snare of the devil. Because it's so easy to get caught up. Amen. How much are you going to pay me? Amen. I, I, how long do I have to be here? All right. Hello? Mm -hmm. But it's not about how much you're going to get uh, and, and, and money. Uh, how long you're going to be here is how well you do the will of the Lord. Say that. Hello? Say that. If you're doing it for that reason, you need to stay home. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Hello? It's not for... Uh, my good is for the good of the Lord. And in the good of the Lord, you receive the grace and mercy. Oh, that yeah. grace is unmerited. You don't deserve what you're getting. Amen. Because we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Flee from you for us, but follow the righteous faith, charity, the peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Mm. Associate yourself Jesus. with those that are seeking Christ. Amen. Because you, you have to remember what the word says, iron sharp and iron. Mm -hmm. yes. If you call yourself a Christian and you hang around with a bunch of liars and thieves, pretty soon okay. you're going to find yourself be what? Lying and a thief. 
You got to be around those that are learning and teaching God's word. Amen? Amen. 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 But foolish and unclean questions avoid. Avoid all those crazy questions that people, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Say people that. ask you about the Bible. That's right. Hello? We have to avoid those things mm. and get people's mind focused on who? Mm. On Jesus Christ. That is our warfare, my sisters and brothers. We have to stay in line with him and continue the war. Knowing that they do uh, gender strife, they cause quarrels and arguments. And what happens when quarrels and arguments come out? Fight. Danger. People are in danger. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be what? Gentle unto all men. All men. And, and look at this next thing. You be gentle to them. Even though they strive against you, you got to love them. That's right. That's right. Yes. And look at this next point. It says, and after what? Teach. teach. You can teach without opening your mouth. Yeah, Hello? Mm -hmm. You can let people see the goodness in you when they come up against you. You can look at them with a smile and say, I love you too. A soft answer will turn away wrath. We have to remember these things and be patient and trust God. Because one thing about it, you can't change nobody. Hello? As we said earlier, uh, uh, water, plant and water, but God will add what? Increase. In meekness, instructing the, those that oppose themselves. See, people that are doing these things out here in the world ain't hurting nobody but who? Yeah. Themselves. And what they, their goal is to get you to come over to that side. Yeah. That's the, 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 the warfare of a Christian soldier. Because all things are walking around you, and if you don't keep your eyes on the prize, you will get caught up with them, okay? Amen. It said, if God preempted, will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. God is knocking at everybody's door. Thank you, Lord. And remember, you can't change anybody. Amen. You just need to continue to serve the Lord in His capacity, mm -hmm. not in yours. Doing His will, not your will. And look at who are taken captive by Him at His will. If you are out here running around lying and cursing, mm -hmm. stealing and cheating, talking about folks back being backbiting, you are being held in captivity by the devil, and he is your father. But the warfare of a Christian soldier is that he fights not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in darkness and what? High places. They mess with your mind, but you got to stay focused on the Word of God. When you stay focused on the Word of God, you know that Jesus is the answer to all of your problems. Amen. You know that he came down to 42 generations and he walked on this way for 33 years and teaching us how to love one another. Right. He came to his own and his own did not recognize him. And it's funny, a lot of us that today don't recognize the goodness of the Lord. Y'all see me crying and going on about the things that God is doing here because of the joy that I can see what Jesus is doing for us today. Even though he died on that cross physically some 2,000 years ago, but he yet lives in me. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we need to give him the glory. He is alive and well. He came to his own and they did not recognize him. Mm -hmm. So he laid down his life. They didn't take his life. He laid it down. He allowed the man that he loved so much to put nails in his head. Thank you, Jesus. Nails in his head. Thank you, Jesus. And they stressed him high. Thank you, Jesus. Stressed him wide. And they hung him high. 
And the Bible says he stayed on that cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. Oh God. But before he died, he looked towards heaven and said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. Jesus has already paid the price. All we have to remember is that we are Christian soldiers in a warfare. Okay? And, and when we remember that, when we remember that cross, that he's already died. But the main thing is that he is no longer on that on cross. The, the Bible says they pierced him in the side. Mm. And out came blood and water. Mm. And they took him down off the cross and they placed him in a barbary tomb. Mm -hmm. And he stayed there all night Friday night. That's right. He stayed there all day Saturday. He stayed there all night Saturday night. But early Sunday morning, you, he got up with all Thank power. You, and that power is here Thank for you today. Amen. Just remember the warfare of a Christian soldier. Jesus. Don't kick against the prick. Follow what God has instructed you to do. He is a loving God. And we love you. And you Will you please stand? Because there might be somebody here today that don't know the man that I'm talking about. His name.